Accidentally stopped at the LCS the other day. Accidentally? Hey everyone, Silver Steeler here. And winning image photography. Yes, accidentally. That, was, that does not happen. It was it's on the way. It accident. was on the way to something else. We had to stop. It was there. <laughs> and I'm glad we did because an intriguing five ounce piece. And just love it. I mean, nice five ounce slug. Never seen this before. And serial number 309, if that's showing up. And 0.999, five ounce. Pure silver. So we've been trying to do some research on this. I featured this on a live stream one night. Everyone seemed to really, really like this piece. I paid $23 an ounce for it. Silver was $22.77 at the time. So just a little bit over spot. I'll take that any day, especially for an octagon piece like this, which is supposedly from a set that contains a triangle, a rectangle, a circle. I've got the Octagon one. So winning, what have you got regarding that? Well, it's a copy. Oops. I heard it. I did. I heard it. Let's just set it down like this. It's a copy of an 1851 $50 gold slug. And it was made, the gold slug was made at the Sayers office um, in San Francisco. But this is a replica. Do yes. we know who minted it? Um, this particular piece that we got? No. So if you can help us out in the comments, we'd like to know who actually minted this one. Not the gold piece, not what it's a replication of. What we need to know is where was this one done at? And how do I track down the rest of the series if there is a series? That's what my LCS guy had said it was, so... Other little pickups, always getting these 40% halves. He's selling them to me for $2.10 to $2.50 piece, depending on what Silver's doing. I think last time it was $2.40 something. So very, very reasonable on those. I like to always get handfuls of them so I have them for gauze. Uh, what? Pledge of Allegiance. Said National Anthem on my stream the other night. This That was wrong. It is the Pledge of Allegiance. And even has the under God in it. I do not have a round that has the Pledge of Allegiance on it yet. So just thought it was cool. Again, another $23 pickup. And then this one was cool. I collect all kinds of Twin Towers, 9-11. And I had not had seen this one yet. It came in a little box. But anything that's got the original Twin Towers on it, I'm a collector for sure. Land of the Free, September 11, 2001, with liberty and justice for all. Of course, one nation under God, indivisible. On top of that, one troy ounce. Yeah, I didn't see that until then. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very, very cool. like that round a lot. Like I said, anything with the Twin Towers on it. Special to me. And then, uh, what, just a regular, I think he, well, just a regular 1964 proof set in the capital holder. A very nice intact one. But I've got this in the original, what, yellow envelope that they sent it out in the cellophane packs. It's just nice to have one that is in one of these capital holders. And that capital holder is in excellent shape. It really is. So, I mean, what was this? I think he sold that one for 22 bucks to me. 22 bucks all day long. I mean, I love my Kennedys. I love my 64 Kennedys in particular. But that was just an accidental stop at the LCS the other day. Really, really glad for that piece. Now that makes me want to dig into more of it. See if there is a set available. If you can help us in the comments about that piece. I mean, it caught our eye immediately. As soon yeah. as he brought it out, it was like, bing. Yeah, we're buying that $23 an ounce, given where Spot was at. It was a no-brainer. We don't have too many 5-ounce slugs in our collection, so that'll be a nice addition to the stack. So if you can help us out in the comments below, what is that? We don't know. 
All right, everyone, it's going to bring this one to a close. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.